All right, we're going to, I'm going to try to explain a little bit something here about how I run my trap line. Everybody does it different. I'm going to try to give you some pointers here to, we're all in it because of the fun and it's a hobby, but if we can make as much money as we possibly can, it makes it even better. So this is how I run my trap line. I'm going to start out here. Here's my home. That's going to be home base. And what I do is, it doesn't matter which direction you start first, but we're going to start north first. So I'm going to start my north loop. All the area that I have trap in north, I'm going to run it first. So day one, I'm going to run about 10 traps. Then I come back home. The next day, I check those 10 traps, and I set out 10 more. Then I come back home. Day three, obviously, run those 20 traps, set out 10 more. Every day I'm running all these traps and I try to set out more traps. I'm just using 10 as an example. After about four or five days, I got so much area that when I was fur trapping, I got so much area to trap that in, in reality, October 15th when fox and coyote came in, I was usually done by December, by Christmas time. So I had about two, two and a half months to trap. I couldn't get all the property that I had to trap in in two and a half months. So after about four or five days, the traps that didn't produce, they was clean traps, if that's what you want to call them, because they didn't have any catch odor on them. I pulled, say like these three traps here didn't produce, I would put them at the end of the line. I put more traps here. And after about two weeks or two and a half weeks, I had my north loop done. Then I started on my east loop. I'd put out 10 more. I'd run all these traps and put out some more. Next day, run all these traps, put out some more. Eventually, what happened is I could eliminate some of these traps here. So when I started out, come to here, just keep putting out more. And eventually, after this north loop is done, I'm working on my east loop. Same thing. I come back here like this. And then after that, East loop was done. I checked all those traps, picked off the surplus. I'm just skimming off the fox and coyotes off the top. And then I start on my south loop. After the south loop is done, obviously, you guys know, then we run the east, the, the west loop. Like I said, some I had a whole bunch of area to trap, and I couldn't get it all trapped. So if you've only got, uh, say, four farms to trap, then you got no choice but to run the same traps day after day after day. But I had the luxury that I had a lot of area to cover. The reason I did this, because I didn't want, if I start out at your home base, and let's say I ran about 10 traps here and came back home, I didn't want to come down and run 10 traps down this way. I'm backtracking, wasting gas. That's why I suggest when you do run your trap line before season, Get all your area laid out on the map. Figure out where you're going to trap first. And try to run a north loop when you get it done. Run the next loop. You don't want to be driving up here in Mr. Smith's farm. And then coming way down here on Mr. Jones's farm. Coming back home and driving out here for Mr. Wilson's farm. You're driving all helter-skelter and wasting a bunch of gas. So I hope that helps you a little bit. If you can uh, get a game plan before season. Find out where you're property is you're going to trap and try to eliminate the fewest miles you can so you're saving as much gas you make as much profit as you possibly can hope that helps you thanks